The first stage of the mastering process in Final Touch on your iPad is to get a song into Final Touch to master. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the import options that we have here in Final Touch. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today, where in this series, I'm helping you master your best music using Final Touch, the amazing mastering application here on the iPad. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at how we can bring a song into your Final Touch application using a bunch of different methods here on the iPad. So let's dive in now and take a look. In the last video, I took you on a tour of the Final Touch interface here on the iPad. So if you missed that one, check out the link up the top and down in the description. But in this video, we're going to show you how to import your track into Final Touch so that you can start your mastering process. To import our song here into Final Touch, we tap on the music notes here in the top left corner, and now we can select from our different import options. Now, I won't go through in detail and demonstrate each of these, but let's just explain how each of these work. So starting with iTunes, anything in your iTunes music library we can import from. So if we tap on iTunes, it will bring us up into our music app. And these are all the tracks that I have stored here in my music library. So we can hit done and go back from there. If we tap again, drop Dropbox is probably the easiest option for someone who is starting out. If we tap on Dropbox, what it will do is it'll first ask you to link your Dropbox account. And now you can see that my Dropbox account here is linked. If I want to bring in a file, I simply navigate to the file that I want to bring in here by tapping on the folder. And if I want to bring this file in, I simply tap on it. It will download that file from my Dropbox account, as you can see it's doing here now. Normally you would download a WAV file. I'm just doing an M4A because it's going to be much quicker. And once it's downloaded, there it is. It brings that file into Final Touch and you are ready to master. FTP is a file transfer protocol server, and that is a little bit complex for most people to use. But if you are given an FTP server address by someone who's sending you a file to master, you will enter it there. File sharing is our next option here, and this is using the iTunes file sharing option where we can actually share files using iTunes on our Mac or our PC. If you want to learn how to use this option, I've got a complete video showing how to use iTunes file sharing, and here are all the files that I've shared using iTunes. So this is from my recent album that I mastered last year. So if I want to bring in one of these files, I simply tap on the file here and there it goes. It brings it straight in here and we can start mastering this track. The audio paste option allows us to actually paste in audio that we've copied from another app. And there's a bunch of different apps that use audio paste. I don't use it extensively because I use the next option here, which is audio share a lot more often. So let's tap on audio share and take a look at the options we have here. This will open the audio share app. And from here, anything that we have stored in audio share, like our file here, we can simply tap on that one and then tap import into app. And it's now going to bring this file which is my song Goats, is brought that straight into uh, Final Touch and we're ready to master this song. However, the way that I usually send my tracks to Final Touch for mastering is using Audio Share and exporting from Audio Share into Final Touch. So I'll show you what I mean here. Here is that song Goats 5 that I had before. The next version here is Goats 5 Trimmed, which all I've done is used Audio Share to trim the audio because one thing you want to keep in mind is you need your audio to be trimmed at the start and the finish at the right locations. And you usually want about one second at the start and maybe two or three seconds at the end to make sure Sure that you have enough room around your master. So here is my trimmed version. I'm now going to tap in the bottom right here, and this is going to share this file. I can now slide across here until I find Final Touch and tap Copy to Final Touch. This will now bring this new file directly here into Final Touch, and we're ready to master from the very start of this track. Now, Audio Share is an additional app and it will cost you a few dollars to buy, but it is well worth it if you use a lot of audio on your iPad and your iPhone. And if you want more information about the cool things Audio Share can do, check the link up the top and in the description. And finally, for my GarageBand users, we can actually export directly from GarageBand into Final Touch here on the iPad. We simply tap Select and select the track we want to export and then tap Share. At the bottom of our screen, we want to share the song and we want to share it as an uncompressed WAV file. Let's tap Share and it will bring up our options of where we want to share it to. So the similar way that we use for Audio Share, we simply navigate here to Copy to Final Touch. We tap on that icon, it will export the song and then it will bring it in to Final Touch. 
And here we go, it's exported that file and it's dropped it straight in here to Final Touch, ready for us to start mastering. One final thing before we finish up, you may be wondering where is the option to use our files application here in iOS 11 or iOS 12. Unfortunately, Final Touch doesn't currently have any files app integration, which is why we have to use the methods that I've shown here in this video. There you go, plenty of options for getting your songs into Final Touch to master them. Now in the next episode, we'll be diving into the pre-EQ. So that's one you're not going to want to miss. Stay subscribed to the channel and you'll keep up to date. And check those links down below for even more here on Studio Live today.